Welcome back to our tutorial series. Previously, we introduced the LiveSync workflow. Once the primary component of the model is complete, you can assess the structure's look with its materials accurately shown, which assists in decision making. In today's tutorial, we will show you how to easily create materials. With the LiveSync plugin enabled, material adjustments are updated in real time. To make things easier, try using different colors to identify each material. This way, you can effortlessly assign them distinct textures. D5 Render has some great options for material creation. If you focus on experimenting with various materials to find the optimal one, D5 Material Library, which has around 2,000 top-notch materials, is a no-brainer choice for you. You can pick from concrete, wood, stone, and loads of other textures to see if the material fits the design. The same goes for the lawn's material. If you're looking for more material creation flexibility without losing the ease and efficiency, our AI material tools are just what you need. Simply prepare a base color map. Make sure to remove any seams that might be present using Make Seamless. Next, apply our Ultra HD Texture tool to upgrade its resolution to 4K, which enhances the details and reduces unwanted noises. After that, select Material Texture Map Generation, another built-in AI tool, which can automatically generate the corresponding normal, roughness, and AO maps. With these powerful AI features, you can dedicate more time to experimenting with distinct material combos, rather than scouring the internet for 4K textures. If you are a visualization expert who prefers to craft your materials from the ground up, our material template system is perfect for you. It comes with 11 commonly used templates plus a customizable option, giving you all the flexibility you need. For example, if you are aiming for realistic walkway material, here's what you need to tweak. 1. Base color or base color map defines the main color and pattern of your walkway. 2. Normal map. If the walkway looks flat out smooth, try adding a normal map which can enhance the gaps between the tiles to create an uneven surface. 3. Specular. Makes the walkway slightly glossy to better catch and reflect the sunlight. 4. Roughness. Decides how matte the walkway looks. 5. AO. An AO map can enhance depth and shadows. 6. Material UV. Simply put, the larger the UV dimensions, the more repetitions of the texture pattern per unit area, making the pattern appear denser. Repeat the process to complete other materials. The main structure is pretty much complete. If you'd like to better review the context by adding models of the surrounding buildings to the typology site, you can easily create them in Rhino and sync them over to D5. Alternatively, feel free to import any completed models you've already prepared.
Okay, this wraps up our tutorial on material creation. Don't miss this video if you would like to know more about the material templates in D5 Render. In the next episode, we'll talk about how you can check your design in realistic environments.